To write the electron configuration for O2 minus, that's the oxide ion, first let's write the electron configuration for neutral oxygen as it's found on the periodic table. In fact, all of the elements found in the periodic table, they're neutral. What that means is they don't have a plus or a minus charge after them like the ions here, like this oxide ion. So because they're neutral and the atomic number equals the number of protons, the number of protons will equal the number of electrons. So for oxygen, just neutral oxygen, we have eight electrons. To write the electron configuration for oxygen, we'll use this table here broken up into these orbitals. You can also use this chart here. There's a link in the description on how to use that, but I like this. I think this is a better way to do it. So let's do this. We have eight electrons. So for just oxygen, we'll start by writing 1s, that's the first orbital, S can hold up to two. We have 1s1, 1s2, so we'll put 1s2. Then we go to the 2s, 2s1 and 2s2, so we put 2s2. Then we go to the p. P's can hold up to six. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. But we only need eight electrons in the configuration for oxygen. So we already have four, so we'll put 2p4 and these numbers add up to eight, the number of electrons in a neutral oxygen atom. So this is the electron configuration for oxygen, the neutral atom. We wanted to do the electron configuration for O2 minus, the oxide ion. So to do that, when you see this negative up here, that means that it's gained electrons. In this case, it's gained two electrons. So we'll just add two to our configuration here, and that'll give us 2p6. This is the electron configuration of O2 minus, the oxide ion. You'll note that the second energy level, all these electrons here with the two in front of it, there are six plus two, we have eight. These are the valence electrons. So when we have these eight valence electrons here, this shell is full. This is a very stable configuration. So when oxygen makes ionic bonds, it'll gain two electrons from whatever it bonds to to get this shell here full. So this is the electron configuration for O2 minus, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.